Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll discuss about one more concept in our programming that is variables. So what are the variables? So in every programming language, the basic concept is about these variables. That means every programming language, we are going to use the term called variables. So now a variable is a memory location. It is a memory location to store the information or a data, to store a data. So that means, so if you are trying to do some programs, we are supposed to give some inputs and also it will produce some output. So where the input will be stored and where the output will be stored. So it requires some memory location to store the data, which we call it as a variable. So usually a memory location is identified by address. So any memory location is identified by address. So which is a numerica, right? So obviously this is a numerica. So in our system, we are having a lot of memory, right? So it is practically it is impossible to remember the numerical address in order to retrieve the data whenever it is required. So that's why we are giving an alternate name for this particular memory location which we call it as a variable. Right? So this is nothing but a memory. So memory location and we are giving an alternate name called as a variable. variable right so here we can store the data so in order to store the input and output so we are representing some variables so those are the memory locations right now obviously the memory location we are giving some alternate name we are saying that we are giving some memory alternate names so we have to give some names right we have to name the variable so now what are the rules to be followed? Rules to be followed while naming a variable. Naming a variable. So, in order to give the name for a variable, what are the rules we need to follow? And the first rule it should not match with very important rule it should not match with keyword so which we have already discussed in our previous session so keywords are the reserved words working for a specific functionality so it the variable name which we are giving should not match with the keyword so that's why we we have to know what are the different keywords given by the interpreter and the second one it can be alpha numeric alpha numeric so the variable name which we are giving can be alpha numeric alpha numeric means the combination of alphabets and numbers alphabets and numbers and it can have dot I'm writing here uh, theoretically dot and underscore underscore right so if this variable name can have a dot or underscore that means a special symbols and no other symbol should be allowed should be allowed so actually these two points are uh, one right so those are combined so it can have a dot and underscore and no other symbol should be allowed so only a dot or underscore and then 
स्टार्ट्स विथ आल्फाबेट आल्फाबेट बट नॉट डिजिट मीन्स ए न्यू मार्केट so the the variable name should not start with a digit so the variable name can start with an alphabet right and the next it can start with dot it can also start with dot but not followed by number but not followed by number or a digit number or a digit right so it can also start with a dot so that means it can start with the alphabet or a dot and it should not start with a digit and if it starts with a dot the next immediate number i mean the next immediate uh, uh, character should not be a digit and also the last and important is a case sensitive case sensitive so case sensitive means so there is a difference between lower case characters and the upper case characters for example so if you want to take some name as a variable so so even these three are a different variables in our programming because so it is a case sensitive all the lower case letters and here it is a capitalized word that means the first character is capital and this is completely upper case characters so all the three are different right so it is a case sensitive so these are the rules we have to follow while naming a variable right so it should not match with the keyword we have discussed the keywords in our previous session it can be alpha numeric and it can have a dot or underscore but no other symbol should be allowed other than dot and underscore and uh, starts with the alphabet but not digit starts with the dot but not followed by a digit now we'll see a few valid and invalid variable names valid and invalid variable names let us see here so th those are valid and those are invalid example so name is a variable right number dot 1 it is also yes it's also a variable this is also valid this is also valid so because we are using some underscore symbol right and so this is also valid because uh, we have seen that variable can be alpha numeric so it can have both alpha alphabets as well as a numericals and coming to the invalid so this is an invalid because it starts with dot and it followed by a digit so this is also invalid because the variable should not start with a digit so this is also invalid because other than dot and underscore no other special symbol is allowed but here we are having a space so similarly first at the rate number or number dollar so all these are invalid and also we can see break is also invalid because a break is a keyword right similarly next 
next is also invalid because it is also a keyword so these are a few uh, valid uh, variable names and these are some va invalid variable names and we have not to use these names as a variables and we have to use only these type of variables and moreover the variable name should be somewhat descriptive for example if you are using some addition of two numbers so you can simply take it as a first number and a second number so it should give some description about that particular variable that means importance or a functionality about that variable so then it will be a self documented program so a good programmer will follow the same point that means always the variables will be somewhat descriptive and it will not be a maximum length okay short and descriptive right now the next point assigning a value to a variable how can how how many ways a value can be assigned to a variable assigning values to variable so three ways a value can be assigned to a variable so the first option is using is equal to and the second option using leftward operator left word operator and the third one using right word operator right word operator so these three ways we can assign any value to a variable for example so let us take some example so let us take some number is equal to 10 so automatically the number is a variable and 10 is a value which has been stored in this particular memory location so by using is equal to we are going to assign a value into that particular variable then what about this leftward operator so usually the leftward operator stands with an arrow mark uh, towards the left side okay arrow denoting towards left side so here we'll be having the variable name number 20 so that means this is a variable so this is a variable or a memory location and this is a value this is a value so this is called a leftward operator so by using the leftward operator we are assigning this 20 to this variable this value to this variable similarly rightward operator so rightward operator denoting towards the right side rightward operator denoting towards right side so uh, how to represent this uh, leftward operator and rightward op operator in the system so simply use a minus symbol and less than symbol for leftward operator and minus symbol and greater than symbol for rightward operator right so here we do so here it will be a variable and this will be the <coughs> excuse me so here rightward operator so value it will be on the left side and this will be assigned to the variable which is on right side so here the variable will be on the right side and here the variable will be on the left hand side and here also this is a variable so usually we will use the conventional way that is use equal to, is equal to so if you want to solve any problems usually we use is equal to to assign a value to some variable but here we are having a two more ways how we can assign the values to a variable by using the leftward operator and the rightward operator right so hope you understood in today's session we have seen what is a variable 
and uh, what are the rules we have to follow while naming a variable and also we have seen uh, some valid and invalid variable names and then finally we have seen how a value can be assigned to a variable right so let's stop here and uh, hope you enjoyed this session so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much